So what is flash memory and what is it used for? Let me take you back in time to 1984, a year made famous for three things. Big Brother, the dystopian world imagined by George Orwell. The crime ridden Hawaiian Islands in Magnum PI, Magnum Private Investigator, expertly played by Tom Selleck. And, you guessed it, the invention of flash memory, which has been around for a long time, by Fujio Masuoka. And again, apologies, Masuoka, because I've probably grossly mispronounced his name. Um, interestingly, flash memory is based on a particular type of ROM called electronically erasable programmable read only memory so even though it's a rom based chip you can still change the data on it it's a bit of a misnomer in the term rom because there's only one type of rom that's read only i have done a video on the ram in the ram and rom video which i explain that so fujio invented flash memory um its name came from his colleague shiwoji arizumi again apologies for the pronunciation he called it flash because the speed you could overwrite the data was as fast as the flash of a camera that was where the name came from okay so the derivation is nothing to do with you know computers really it's to do with the speed which it can be it, it can be changed okay there's two types of of flash memory so we'll take a look at those two um, I think it's important that you are at least aware that there are two types of flash, even though it's not technically important for you to understand the differences and how they operate. I think it's quite useful for you to still know about those. So the first type of flash memory, which is this one on the left hand side here, is called no flash. No flash is based on the type of um, electronic circuits that the memory itself is made up from. Okay, no flash was invented by a company called Intel, Whoops, um, which you again may have heard of, hopefully you've heard of those, heard of Intel, in 1988, so not long after flash was invented, and it's fairly slow, so it's not the fastest storage device in the world, it's fairly expensive because of the electronics and the way that the memory is constructed. But it is random access, truly random access as well. Random access. So in other words, every memory location inside the flash can be accessed independently and at random. And most importantly, it can be accessed at the byte level. So what that means is literally every single byte of storage can be accessed on its own. This means that programs can be executed programs executed directly from the memory okay this makes it very useful for storing CMOS settings and BIOS programs as well the bootstrap loader that starts your computer up and again you may have heard the term flashing BIOS um, literally means to change the contents of the BIOS, the program stored in the BIOS, to alter the way in which the computer starts up. And the important thing is that the program in the in the NOR flash doesn't need copying anywhere else for it to run. It can be run directly from from the the, um, the flash memory itself. Now, the alternative to that is run over here. This is a memory stick that I've taken apart, and this is the flash chip here. So that's the flash memory that chip there. The rest of this electronics is just to, uh, to the input output controllers and the power and so on for the chip itself. This is a, a different type of flash called NAND flash. NAND flash and again that's related to the particular electronics that are used to construct it. NAND flash was invented by a company called Toshiba. Again you'll have heard of them hopefully. Just after no flash was invented in 1989. Um, it has the massive advantage that it can be packed onto the chip in a much higher density. So I can have a lot of storage per square millimeter. It's also faster to read and write from for a particular reason and that reason is because data 
is red, oops, written and red, or red and written, red and written in blocks. Okay, that does have the disadvantage, however, that before any programs that are stored in the flash can be um, executed, those programs have to be copied into RAM before they can be executed, before execution. This means that really uh, NAND flash, which is the common type of flash, and whenever you talk about flash, you're really talking about NAND flash, um, it can only be really used as mass storage. So, a mass storage device. Okay, so mass storage. So, let's look at some common types of flash memory that you, again, you may well have heard of before. Um, I'll put a few up on the, on the screen there. The, the first one to be really invented, this was around about 1994. So 1994 was the CF card or the compact flash card. Some of you may be familiar with this. It's fairly unlikely to be honest. Compact flash, that's what CF stands for. Compact flash is actually no flash. Um, and therefore you can execute programs from it. It was used in small devices, um, embedded systems, it's used in, in old camera storage as well. Uh, it, even in some, some very early laptops they have CF card ex expansion. It's, it's probably a fallen out of use now simply because the limits to the size, the density, uh, the cost and so on means that it's kind of been taken over by these over here. You'll be familiar with this, this is a micro SD. SD stands for secure digital. Uh, so this is a micro SD card and this is a standard sized SD card or a secure digital card. Uh, again, you may have seen one of these before. This is called a smart media card. Smart media. I believe smart media to be one word, but I've written it on two lines, so apologies for that. And again, they found use in, in early digital cameras. They were invented around 1995. So just after CF, just after Compact Flash, so it was the first and second. Uh, and also, again, you may have seen these, these are called XD picture cards, and they're using some older cameras as well. So um, again, it's, it's possible if you ask your parents or guardians if they've got an old camera at home, it might take an XD card, it might take a smart media card, pretty unlikely to find many knocking about these days. Even though it's not all good and bad news, they, they do have their advantages and disadvantages flash memory. So let's look at some of the positives and the negatives of flash memory. Um, first of all, the positives. Okay, so let's look at the positives of flash. Great stuff. It has fast read-write times. So it's pretty fast to read and write. It's shock resistant. And this is a crucial thing, shock resistant. If you're using, if you need storage in portable devices that are likely to get dropped or knocked, flash storage is brilliant because it's shock resistant, it doesn't get affected if it gets knocked. And it's also pretty durable as well. It does have its disadvantages of course, so there's some negatives to flash memory. Um, it has a limited lifespan limited lifespan and again not a lot of people think that they think it's going to last forever but it doesn't necessarily last forever it's a limited lifespan the electronics only have a limited number of read write operations that they can perform it's also got a relatively high cost per megabyte so the cost per megabyte is quite high again all this is it changes you know um, I can't say 100% that it's always going to be higher megabyte than any other type of storage and to be honest and you've probably had this happen to you as well it's fairly easy to corrupt as well easy to corrupt that's why if you ever store your precious coursework on a, a memory stick or um, you know an SD card you need to make sure that you've also got it backed up somewhere because if you plug that um, you plug the card or you plug your flash drive into your computer and there's a slight power surge it can damage them and you can you know there's ways of getting the data off but it's not easy okay so that's a quick whistle stop tour of, um, of flash memory hopefully 
we've answered the question, the original question, what is flash memory and what is it used for? Let's summarise it. Flash memory is used as a non-volatile storage for programs, no flash, and data, NAND flash. It's a type of EEPROM, electrically or electronically erasable programmable read-only memory on which data can be read, written and erased electronically in blocks. Remember that kind of only refers to NAND flash, but that's 90%, 99% of the flash memory that you'll probably um, come across in your professional lifetimes.